go. Hey everybody, Ron from Campfire Grub. And actually this week we are camping down in South Florida over by Fort Myers at Croatian State Historic Site. I think that's how you pronounce it. And we're actually standing next to this old kitchen. Um, I would love to show you us cooking on this old kitchen over here that they have at this historic home site. But we're actually gonna be cooking back at camp. And tonight we're gonna be cooking some scallops stuffed inside of some pasta shells that we're actually gonna bake up in the Dutch oven. So there's actually a barrier up so I can't get a really good view of the stove, but this is it so far. I mean, this stove looks amazing and it looks ancient. And this looks like some of the firewood that they used to power it. And it is actually a Cleveland open range. All right, so we're back at camp and I was just staring at the concrete over here and um, I found I guess these little things here that go in my crocs and it's a campfire and a marshmallow. Um, what are they called? They are croc charms. So just to give a quick overview on what we're going to be cooking tonight. Um, these are going to be the jumbo shells. And we are going to fill them up with some mozzarella cheese, some scallops, and a red onion. Now, normally I would usually like to use like regular fresh scallops and just kind of make my own sauce, but with camping and limited space in the fridge because of, you know, different stuff that's in there, it was just easier to just get these little boxes. It took up less space. It was pre-mixed with butter and cream and everything else that I needed. So it's kind of like just one box with everything in it that I need. And the scallops are still pretty fresh and they still taste amazing. Yep. When you're ready. We have our shells over here that we... We're trying to film here. Can we? Sorry, Amber Lord, it was important. I don't know who Amber is, but... And why is she alerting on my phone? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Amber? <laughs> <laughs> All right, when you're ready. So, here is our shells. They're over here coming to a boil. This is our scallop packs. Yeah, I know we cheated. I'm sure down in the comments someone's going to say... You cheated, why didn't you buy fresh scallops? But you know what? All in one pack, has the butter, has the cream, has the seasoning. One thing that we don't have is room in Kevin's refrigerator because he likes to drink 47 different kinds of Malibus and different flavored seltzers. So, we didn't have room, so all we have to do is, is we just cut open the package, dump it right in, and as you can see here, As you can see here, it already has all the cream, all the scallops, and everything that we need already right there, all in one pack. here is we're going to go ahead and take our shell. We're just going to grab just a few little scallops and we're probably going to plop two in right for now and then we'll set it aside and then we just want to go along and fill up all of the shells with two or three scallops inside and then in a few moments when I'm done with that I'll show you the next step. Great. Inside here we have the shells, the stuff with the scallops. Now what we're going to do is is we're going to go ahead and take some cheese and now we're just going to stuff a little hard to do while I'm holding it. We're going to place some cheese inside the shell with the scallops. Here is our red onions. We're just going to go ahead and just kind of sprinkle them around a little bit on top and just all about inside there. Um, you can take the red onions and actually like place them inside the shells, but you know how many shells here that we're cooking, it's easier if we just take some handfuls and just kind of spread them out and about in here. I mean, they'll pretty much cook down anyway. And now our next step is going to be, we're gonna go ahead and take our four cheese Alfredo sauce, open this joker up here. And then we don't wanna actually dump it directly on the shells because we don't wanna wash out all the cheese that's in there. So we're just gonna kind of go around the edges here. I mean, if some get down onto the shells, that's fine, but we want it to actually just kind of cook in there 
not pouring it directly into the shells. So now that that's all in there, we're going to go ahead and take our remaining mozzarella cheese that we have left from stuffing inside the shells and we're going to open this up. It's a little bit clumped together, that's why I'm not dumping it out of the bag. And then just cover the whole top in mozzarella cheese here. Just spread it all out. So let's go ahead and lift off the lid and check out how they're doing. Now we actually put some paprika in there, so that's actually not burnt, it's just a bit of the paprika. Some of the onions might be a little bit browned, but these actually came out perfect. The cheese is nice and melted. We're going to go ahead and pull this liner out of the cast iron pan, serve them up, and let's see how everybody likes them. Oh. Definitely go out by the water by the old port so you'll see the uh, old battery that's falling into the water. Oh yeah. Uh, one of the secret places we like to go with hammocks is you go all the way to the north side. So how was it, Katie? It was, it was really like, good. Um, oh, that's awesome. It's got a lot of flavor, so onions give it a little different. Um, overall just flavor but i think like a little every bit more weekend spice, from now until I probably really uh, really next though. awesome kevin how did you like it it was delicious and i'm on my 13th stuffed shell which is actually pretty crazy because kevin eats like a small bird <laughs> um so if he ate three of anything i mean that's pretty amazing right there except when it comes to hibachi i can kill an entire kobe steakhouse worth of food in one sitting awesome well there it is. It's pretty much all gone now. Um, the video quality might be a bit iffy just because of the lights coming off the trailer. But thank you everybody for watching. If you